Joke. So I was joking. Ox. I didn't know you were into wildlife. <laughs> Molly, I love you. I really love you. Ox. A R C S. Adult Rehabilitation Centers. Oh, I see. What? All right. Here we go. Five large country houses. Uh, two of them, once classed as ancestral homes, have been bought by the government for conversion into psychiatric hospitals, correction, special psychiatric hospitals for the treatment of social misfits. New paragraph. These, quote, hospitals, quote. Right. Now, I'm... At various times I've been accused of being ignorant by thugs. At various times I've been accused of being insensitive. The fact of the matter is I am perceptive, observant and intelligent. It has not escaped my attention that while I am supposedly having a difficult time recovering from six months of effective sleep deprivation while I have been traumatized by the disappearance of loved ones while it is a factual, the, the allegedly factual disappearance while I am in the position or have been put in the position of appearing to be uncooperative by, well let's face it, it's always the fucking British isn't it by, by, by the British government with its secret campaign of accusation balanced by sudden 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 warmth and forgiveness which is fake of course in order to say oh yes he's one of our black sheep he's one of our lost sons he's a wonderful fellow he knows all this he knows all that he's got wealth he's got status and of course it's all bollocks I have bugger all money left. I've spent all my savings on a current and ongoing attempt to break free of the United Kingdom in all its forms, including the Commonwealth. I have been busy, hopefully, exposing British hypocrisy and economic imperialism in the Republic of Ireland and for these reasons I have become more more of an irritant and less of a threat the fact of the matter is the British saw me as nothing more than a means of accessing American sociological paradigms once I had an American girlfriend for a short period of time back in 84. This was their sole concern with me, the British. This was all they saw me as good for, something to be, uh, well, let's say, maintained, a fictional personality to be imposed on the United States and maintained for as long as convenient in order to enable the penetration of American society by vicious, hypocritical, tyrannical, brutal British influence. So am I a traitor? God damn right! I take every opportunity now to betray British trust. Let there be no illusion, despite blackmail, despite threats to my family, despite trauma, despite coercion, despite unnecessary drug therapy for decades back in the home country, may it rot in hell. The fact of the matter is that the current trend, the current drive, the things to which I am apparently insensitive, because this is perceptual disintegration, it's a psychological traumatization, 
the things to which I am insensitive because I will not trust are designed to bring me out of this real world where in fact there is very little threat and confine me to the metaphysically invalid secret world which maintains its fictional esteem by its ability to penetrate and destroy the mentalities of innocent victims. To indulge in that cruelty is to become part of the elite. To become part of the elite one must obey. One must be trained. One must go to school and do as one is taught. And of course very few people are chosen. Everybody is caught in the dragnet. Very few people are chosen. As far as I'm concerned, to be chosen by this elite is the biggest and foulest insult I have ever received. Because this elite seeks only to remove the best people from society, take away their identities, take away their existence, and effectively kidnap them and render them totally, utterly vulnerable to disappearance, murder, brutalization. And that is why they want me, because I am a token in the external real world, an anchor, something which prevents the wholesale annihilation of numbers of good people they have inducted into this hellish scheme. So what can I say? While many people in the Americas may consider me insensitive, mule stubborn, obstinate and ignorant, the fact of the matter is it is only these qualities which keeps many people, good people, actually virtuous people who would uh, essentially be either killed or just discarded or wrecked as chattel after my death. It keeps these people alive. So if you're asking me to trust, basically, in things which I have avoided, um, <laughs> I won't say in, in circumstances of activity, in places where conflict has been occurring, uh, while well, these little plots, these little trust tests designed to uh, exhaust the patience of my assisters go on and on with me as the failure, me as the discarded reject left vulnerable and open to conventional murder, hopefully in the eyes of the British the purpose is to get me on the inside, destroy me, physically murder me, as they were going to do only a few months ago in Gloucestershire in England. This being their excuse for destroying and discarding all the other irrelevant people they've been building up by means of empty, inflated reputation over the years, simply in order to maintain their plan. Well, my plan has failed. My plan of going to Ireland, for the time being, but let's not pretend. I cannot admit my plan has failed. And I think it's about time they did admit that people understand what they are up to. Millions of people. And the fact of the matter is I will not cooperate. If there is work to be done in the secret world I will do it on the outside.
if they will have me. If they don't want me, I have to find another solution. That's tough. On the other hand, if there is anybody still suffering from the fantasy that I will fall for their vulnerability trick and assist in my own murder, then they are very much mistaken. That is all.